Hey, digmates, it's Chris. Yes, you can have 10 keyboards in one. Or better yet, you can have a small keyboard like the Raze with 10 layers so you don't miss any keys that bigger keyboards have. Most of you already know layers well, but some people don't. And even some advanced users still don't use all the potential they have. First, the basics. What is a keyboard layer? Take, for example, the keyboard on your phone. When you press the symbol key, you switch to a layer with symbols. When you press the caps key, you're shown the capitalized letters. These are two examples of layers. A layer is just the symbols or letters you can type and at any given moment. How can layers help us? Well, just picture this. On a regular keyboard, you have to move your whole arm to reach the number pad, the F keys, the navigation cluster, or the arrow keys. What if, instead of moving your whole arm towards a different area of the keyboard, that area of the keyboard magically comes right under your fingertips. Imagine having a full-sized keyboard and chopping it into sections. Then you overlap these sections. Now they're close to your fingers and you just have to select one of these layers to use your number pad, your arrow keys, your F keys, your navigation keys, or a special set of keys that you've created. And all this without moving your hands away from the home row. As you can choose what exact keys you want to have in each layer, you can also say, combine the arrow key layer with the number pad layer if you like. You can see some layer examples in these videos here. So how do you tell your keyboard what layer you want to use? How do you change layers? There's two main ways shifting to a layer and moving to a layer. Let's start with shifting. On the Raze, you can set it up like this. You open up BaseCorp, the configurator software of the Raze, you click on any key, you click key config, and you go shift to layer one, or you type on the search bar, shift, and click on layer one. Now you save the changes to the Raze, and you go to layer one. So you can actually see what you have there and change anything that you need. Now, every time you press that key, ta-da, you shift to the layer one. When you let go that key, you go back to layer zero. So as you can see by default on layer one, you have your number pad keys, your F keys, some navigation keys and the arrow keys. As an example, if you press your M key normally, you will get an M. But if you shift to layer one and press the M key, you will get a one because you're on the number pad key. And this applies to every other key on your keyboard. Now, here's where the extra thumb keys on the race come in so handy. You can assign a different layer to each key, like this. Go to layer 0, click on a key, key config, shift to layer 2, click on another key, go to key config, shift to layer 3, save to the race. Now, each thumb key takes you to a different layer. If you press this key, you go to layer 1. If you press this key, you go to layer 2, which we can see here. If you press this key, you go to layer 3, which we can see here. Now that we know what layer shifting is, we can talk about moving layers. It's the same concept, but you don't need to hold the key. Just tap it and you will move to the new layer. To add a move to layer key, it's the same steps we saw before, but now you choose move to layer instead of shift to layer. You go to layer 0, click on a key, key config, and move to layer 1. Save to the race. Now, since you're moving to a layer, you need a key that goes back to layer 0 in layer 1, or else you would get stuck in this layer when you move to it. Now you can hit this key to move to layer 2, and you stay there, until you press the move to layer 0 again. Finally, you can combine shift to layer keys with move to layer keys in your workflow. Shifting, moving, and you can also have other uses for layers, for example, you can have a gaming layer, like I have here. You can have a video editing layer, or you can have a typing layer, etc. You can create your own layers to have the keys you need for each application. We'll talk about this more in other videos. So, just a quick recap. Shifting layers means you hold the Shift to Layer key to reach the keys on a different layer. And moving layers means you tap the key to change your current layer. You'll stay in that layer until you tap another Move to Layer key. And that's it. Now you know how layers work. but why would you want to use layers instead of a full keyboard? Well, of course, because ergonomics. Good ergonomics help your health and increase your productivity. It helps our health because it avoids repetitive movements in extreme angles of your wrists, your fingers, and your shoulders. Injuries from using keyboards are very common. It increases productivity because it makes us faster. Instead of moving your fingers and having to find the keys we need, 
the keys find our fingers and we can use them right away. And it also allows us to have more keys than a regular keyboard and personalize a layout for a specific application, having all the useful keys very close. And let's not forget the most important factor of all. Shifting layers with your race just looks so cool. I hope you enjoyed watching this and like and subscribe if you want to see more of this beauty in action.